On this episode, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. <laughs> Zach gets swole. I ripped my pants. <laughs> For real. We don't make an inappropriate joke. Do you like dags? Uh, I don't know. There's only one way to find out. We're going to tell you a little story about how we got to this point in our lives and why my cheeks are slightly less jowly than they were a year ago. Wow. Why is that? Tell me. Why is that? Because I decided to make a life choice. What happened was I was pretty dang fat and I was very uncomfortable and I said, John, why don't you help me? So we did, and we went into that a little bit last time, but mm -hmm. now we're gonna go more in depth. So yeah. we're gonna flash back to our first interview, talking yep. last year. I don't know if we got emotional at this point, I can't remember. You might have a little bit. So, top goal for body. Well, well I, I know what you wanna look like or who you wanna look like. Right, but right now I'm thinking <laughs> like, man, my stomach hurts really bad right here for no reason mm -hmm. other than I'm just like uncomfortable. And then I'm thinking like, okay, in this one week of being with you, I've learned, okay, how I'm sitting and how I carry myself is not good. And I just think if I could be in my habit of just sitting up mm -hmm. straight and not have this bowl full of jelly, maybe whatever's right here, my liver, wouldn't hurt so bad right now. Okay. And I wouldn't be so sweaty for no reason. I want to be in control of of my situation, my life, not necessarily like, you know, like controlling anybody else, but mm -hmm. feeling like, you know, confident. I don't know, because I'm like, I'm a super confident person anyway, mm -hmm. but I felt like, maybe I told you before, I feel like there's a certain type of people that immediately judge me and think, okay, mm -hmm. write him off, you know? And I'm not, you know, I want, it's not like I want to be something for them, but I want to be something mm -hmm. so that I can maybe reach them. And One of the first things John does when he brings you in to the Warriors for Wellness gym is, I give you a sit down to look at what your goals are and we kind of get, down to the nitty gritty, your reasons why yeah. you want the change that you want and get you to understand your value in life, finding purpose, which will help you make the changes that you, that you really truly need in order to get, get what you want. It's not very easy and or comfortable and it is emotional. So we had, I had some pretty lofty goals and one of them was I wanna be Doyle, Wolfgang von Frankenstein for Halloween. That didn't happen. But Pretty ripped. I did make some progress. So that's what I want to touch on is that even though in six months I didn't become completely shredded, mm -hmm. I've, I've dramatically changed my life, my eating habits, but not completely. Mm -hmm. And so we need to talk about that too because I've changed a lot, but there's still a struggle. Also, I'm gonna eat one of those Rice Krispie treats over there. No, he's not. That Tim just got. Not while I'm here. Well, no, not while John's here. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's all about your choices. It what is. you choose it's... every single day. Because eating that Rice Krispie once, it's not gonna make much of a difference on your, on your life, your health, right away. But if he eats one of those every single day, think of what that's going to do to him in a year, in five years, in 10 years, in 20 years. What's that gonna do to your health, mm -hmm. right? The same is true when it comes to drinking a green smoothie. You drink a green smoothie once, and all of a sudden you like, no heart disease, no anything, right? <laughs> it doesn't work that way. You gotta drink that green yeah. smoothie every single day for a year, for five years, for 10 years, for 20 years to really see the difference. That's what we mean when we say commit to the process. Yeah. It is a lot of commitment. It is a lot of consistency. Mm -hmm. And I'd say I've been medium consistent. Medium. Because I've yeah I've grown in uh, in some ways like that are important to me. My arms right here are 
a little bit bigger than when I started. Mm -hmm. And this right here is a lot a bit smaller, but still obviously I've got a ways to go. But I've definitely gotten stronger definitely. and I feel a lot better. More and, confident. Yeah. Yeah. And I mm -hmm. feel like, yeah, I could, I could curl 50 pound dumbbells. Mm -hmm. I totally could do that now. I don't know if I could do that before. No, that's the struggle that you've been going through. Yeah. Is making that commitment um, and changing everything all at once. That's hard. It's hard to, to change everything at once. So there might yeah. be little changes that he's been able to commit to, but not everything. And so mm -hmm. he's gotten the results that have, the, the results have been exactly what he has put in. The amount of effort that he's put in, let's say he's put in 50% effort, he's gotten 50% results. If he starts putting in 100% effort, he's gonna get 100% results. That's how it works. But here's the, cool, here's the cool thing for everybody out there. You don't need to make all the changes all at once. Even just that little bit has done so much for him and it can for you too. So say you're just watching this, you're <clears throat> the Patriot pilot and you're just watching this and you've started to work out. You're somebody that's just seen this for the first time. Mm -hmm. What do you say, what do you say to them? Okay, one of the easiest things that you can start with is making sure that you drink half your body weight in ounces of water per day. Literally just, just that. If you made only that change, it will make a difference. Until that becomes a habit, two, three weeks of you drinking, you know, that much water per, per day, uh, then you can introduce a new habit because if that one's become a habit, it's not hard anymore, right? Then maybe add in an extra serving of veggies per day. That one's huge. And some people are like, well, you mean a serving of vegetables per day? Because <laughs> some people don't eat any veggies. And that, yes. I, I get that. I've come across a lot of clients like that. But just add in one more, one more serving of vegetables per day and make that a habit. So you do that consistently, you know, for a few weeks, maybe even for a month. Then it becomes a habit. It's not hard anymore. Add the next thing. Hey, you know what? I'm going to do 20 push ups three times a week. Okay? Until that becomes a habit. Maybe a month of doing that. That becomes easy. Maybe five push-ups. Maybe five push-ups, right. It could be, it really could be. It could be a walk around the block for some people. Just something, Just right? something, it's just the little things. That's called the 1% increase. It's not hard to improve something by 1%. Well, yeah, it's hard to think, okay, I've been getting a soda every day at the gas station, and now tomorrow, I'm not gonna ever get one again. Yeah, that might be really difficult for some people. So maybe you could be it like... It might just be unrealistic. It might be unrealistic. Right? It could be just less. Yeah. Like, let's say you're drinking, like, you know, a huge soda. Cut it down to that or fill it up with more ice. And then all of a sudden you have less soda, right? That, I think, has been a big adjustment I made. I love mm -hmm. Dr. Pepper with no ice from the gas station. Mm -hmm. And I consistently would get one basically every day, maybe two mm -hmm. a day. I think that was the hardest thing for me was just stopping that. So I did really good for a while, got detox, whatever, had no monsters, no rock stars, no nothing for a while, but it just, I don't know. Mentally just wasn't that's wasn't realistic for yeah. me mentally. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna have a lot less of all of these things. So once in a while, once a month, whatever, I'll get a soda. If I go to the movie, I'll get a soda, right? instead of every day right that rice crispy treat might be like a couple times a week instead of every single day right it's just those little tiny changes that will make a difference and it has mm -hmm. for you right but then on the other end of the spectrum we sh we could talk about our other friend um dustin yeah dustin <laughs> yeah he did do the more i would say probably like the 95 percent change just mm -hmm. boom changed everything started eating healthy uh, the, the exercise was on point. His, his nutrition was on point. That change that he made, dude, it made a huge difference. He lost over 65 pounds. And uh, he went from not being able to do even one pull up to be able, being able to hold on to, to globe grips like this in a, in a 90 degree angle for a minute, just hanging there for a minute. That's incredible. That's, that's awesome change. And that can happen for anybody who's willing to put in that amount of effort. Your progress isn't always the same as someone else's oh, progress. Oh yeah, that's true. Especially And don't somebody... compare yourself to somebody else's progress. Yes, you can have similar results. And you lost almost the same amount of weight as Dustin, 
Dustin just had less to lose. And that's why you see it more than what we saw in you. And yes, he went probably 40 something percent more hardcore than you did, right? Absolutely. Just, no, because, just because John can go and do 11 backflips down a sand dune and then do more holding the camera doesn't mean I should go try it. <laughs> but you're, but you're, you, it might be something different for you though. It might be something totally yeah. different for you. Hey, so I know we're talking about some like bro flex stuff today, but I don't want you to forget we had a couple of really cool Mercedes and we're still working on getting a Ferrari for $500. It has definitely went from easy to not easy at all. And it's very hard right now. And the car is actually, I'm not even gonna tell you yet. It needs something very dramatic. And then you know what else happened? I got another really cool Mercedes that I love. And I was gonna do this really cool video about it and show you guys all about it and then boom somebody t-boned it and destroyed it uh james bought a new mercedes also it's pretty sweet it's at mercedes of farmington <laughs> it's awesome it's so awesome i think it's just getting an oil change though but anyway so 500 dollars ferrari is slow but it's still going don't give up i will get a ferrari and I will only be into it $500. And yeah, so there you go. Go follow V12 Lifestyle everywhere and Warriors for Wellness. And I know some of you are in Utah. So if you are in Utah, come down to the gym. Come Check to the it gym. Out. You get a free workout. Um, we'll show you what it's all about. Do show up, just do it. Look at Warriors for Wellness mm -hmm. and that has the schedule and everything. Yep. And uh, just come down and do it. Follow us, like all of our stuff, and buy some shampoo. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.